So I've always wanted to come visit Peru, and when I found out about the Inca Avalanche race, decided to get on it and make it happen this year. So came a week early so we could do some riding. <laughs> I just rode my board on that thing right there. Mm. Check out the local culture. Oh, awesome. You know, see if we could help out one of the local communities as well while we're here. <laughs> Our first ride was really cool. Our guide Alistair, fellow Kiwi took us out to show us some trails around town. Riding at this altitude is a silly idea. Uphill. Yeah, it is pretty thin up here at 14,000 feet. We'll let the tourists figure that out. The vertical here is insane. You know, every run is, seems like it's 6,000 vertical feet or something. Combine the views with really fun trails. It's been a blast. <laughs> It's been great. We've been riding all kinds of different trails, past ruins, rocky, rough, loose, wet. It's been all crazy and different. It's been really fun. A lot of the trails here are actually old Incan pathways that they would take from town to town or through the mountains or whatever. They've been there forever, and uh, so you get a whole range of trail types, and uh, they're a lot of fun to ride. So I'd say the biggest highlight for me on this trip is, was uh, riding into the school to drop off the solar panels for them and kind of meet and see their community. So we just loaded up uh, the Camelbacks with solar panels and I've got a big old battery in my backpack here. And we're gonna ride down a sweet trail down to a school. I'm gonna give this stuff to them for a bit of a backup power supply. Yeah, I think it should be a cool adventure. <laughs> We had the idea to bring in uh, the solar panels and lights because a lot of uh, a lot of the rural communities here are familiar with solar panels but can't afford it or um, that sort of thing. So we let the school know that we were coming in to uh, visit them and donate a little bit of stuff for them and we really didn't have any idea what to expect. We didn't see pictures of it or anything. Um, and so riding in, I guess they had seen us on the hillside uh, coming down the, down the pass. And as soon as we rolled into the, into the field, um, the whole, all the kids ran out with flags and everything, screaming, and uh, it was a really cool welcome. <laughs> Those dudes are stoked on shredding bikes. <laughs> yeah, mine's gone. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to get mine back. <laughs> get out we had to like straight up this <laughs> near vertical mountain and uh, a lot of pain was felt put it that way it was um, it was really hard going bike on the shoulder getting passed by the kids just running circles around us <laughs> getting passed by the logs man I'd love to come back and explore you know we're here for 10 days and I don't really think that's enough this place is enormous and it's obviously got a lot of stuff to explore there's so much to do here, so many so many trails we didn't even get to go to. Um, this is an amazing place that I'll definitely be back.